the Hyper Ice Raptor, which is a percussion therapy. So basically it's gonna break down all the muscle tissues in the body. It's gonna help loosen up before I can get deeper into the tissue. I wanna laugh. <laughs> We're working on the glute medius and the low back. In fact, uh, normally her hip flexors are out and these muscles have a tendency of just staying tight. So we're breaking them loose today. Actually, this feels so good. I love seeing Daniel. Um, some, some people find it painful, but I have like a, I have a love for pain. So the, all this stuff feels good to me. It feels like a nice, it's a deep tissue massage. When the muscle's healthy, it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't, like right now it doesn't hurt at all, but there's, there's times where it really hurts. You know, my glutes and hamstrings are always tight, so those usually, they, they usually hurt more, but right now nothing's hurting me. This is all easy today, easy. Looks like my body's feeling healthy and doing well. What happens is many times when she trains, the muscle actually shortens, the fascia shortens, and uh, it needs to be opened up, especially in the uh, events that she competes in. She wants the muscles to really pop when she poses, so she really wants them opened up. She wants the fibers functioning. She wants everything functioning. On top of that, she doesn't need any muscles shutting down on her. Certain muscles, they'll shut down uh, when you put too much strain on them. They're on the verge of getting hurt. They'll shut down. You'll start to compensate. She'll get through the workout, however, uh, she'll need to get them back up. So that's what we're doing. Uh, uh, oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> my calves are always like so sore. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. The fact that it hurts is an indication that the muscle's unhealthy. Yes. Otherwise it just feels like a good hard massage. Ah. Uh, She's struggling right now because I'm pretty sure she hasn't got work done like this. Never and she's feeling the pain. The, the work, the pain. It may hurt now, but it's gonna feel better later. Yeah. The metabolic waste is gonna come throughout your body. You're gonna get a bigger pump. You're gonna have more range of motion. And that's what athletes look for as they train. A bigger pump, more range of motion. You good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Painful. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this moment, what we're doing is we're getting the hip flexors to really open up. So we're getting the iliacus as well as the uh, psoas. So both of those muscles are what cause the body to come down toward the leg or the leg drive up toward the body. On the side's yeah. worse. Yeah, this side's more painful. My session was excellent. Um, right now, I feel extremely vascular, you know, because he just stripped out the, the fascia, the muscle fascia, so I could feel my veins against my skin. My skin feels tight. You know, there wasn't a lot of pain today, for sure. Um, so my body's been pretty healthy right now, pretty strong. It was really yeah. painful, but I feel great now. Now I really have an idea how my body actually is not okay. I didn't know that before this. I did some body work before, and before every my contest, I usually go to do something, but this, that was even close to this. Like I'm so perfect, like I know when I don't know Like I deserve the shit that you put me through I don't really do anything bad I tend to stick to the outside aisles Usually what, what I need is usually around the edge of the grocery store So and there's maybe like one or two aisles I'll go down like the frozen section So we'll go down there and get some fish um, when they get closer to a show, I get fresh fish, and I won't mess with uh, the frozen fish. It has more sodium in it than the fresh fish. And then I'll wash that fish like a motherfucker. I shouldn't say motherfucker. Wait, you know what I like? I get these. 
but when they have French cut, I just take them all. These are scallops. Yeah, I know. That's also my favorite thing. I love scallops. Scallops or shrimp. My house smells like a scallop. I know. You guys know. <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> you guys know. I know. So you eat egg whites in how many meals? A lot of egg whites. Three or maybe four. Three. Uh, it, it's just like so easy you, and it's so easy to digest. I feel time. light it's and light. ready to work out after. Yeah, that's it's my light. problem. Have after tell me? my breakfast, like. For sure, I have to work out in the morning after the breakfast. I'm not doing fasted cardio or anything before I have food in my stomach. Yeah. So it needs to be light. And then I need something fast, like fast absorbing protein right after. And I do my uh, egg white shake that I just mix a little bit of almond or cashew milk, sweetener, cinnamon, or maybe cocoa powder with egg whites. That's it. And then for carbs, I like the oatmeal. I just I love oatmeal, oatmeal it's too. It's not like the best for my body, but I, I can it can tolerate it so it's great this far out i still do oatmeal and then sweet potato i'm safe with yes but for my egg whites i do muscle egg egg whites and then i change from the flavor to organic when i get closer did you say you wanted some of this well old me would say yeah <laughs> and put in the food like oh no it's nothing it's zero zero fats zero carbs the, zero protein it's plastic it's an oil from the auto shop, and I used to drink it. Oh <laughs> my god. Total fat, zero. Zero though. It's zero. Everything is but zero. But this is just gonna, this is actually real oil, and it clogs up your... It is. Yeah, it clogs everything up, and it, and it acts as butter and fat still in your system, and it's worse than real butter. You should just eat real butter. I'm good.